She just said something very important. Say it one more time. It is like you found the best vocalists in the entire world and you put them in one room and in a show together. Oh my gosh. I, I have to say last night I saw the show. We were here last night and I saw it with her was here and one of my dear, dear oldest friends from high school was here. And we were all, now I've obviously written the music of the show, I know this show, but last night we were ooing, eyeing, cringing, creaking, mouth open. The, the story is so beautiful of Hell's Kitchen. The vocalists are so powerful that they like, they, they take you to another level. You don't know what to do with yourself. There's nothing they can't do vocally. I've never seen anything like it. I can't even do what they do vocally. Like, it's a real fact. It was unreal. For you, what is one of the more emotional moments in this show? You know, I think what's so special about this show is we really see 17-year-old Allie trying to find her independence, and we see her trying to express herself the way she wants to without everybody telling her what she shouldn't do and couldn't do. And I think many of us in life, no matter our age, feel like people are stopping us in some way from being our, our greatest. And so as the show progresses and, you know, her mother is sometimes her biggest adversary, and I know many of us have felt that way, just the push and pull of, you know, a child-mother relationship. And when we see them really unite at the end and you hear Ali say, everyone else might be gone, but you have always been here. Don't care how many times I see that part. It, it, it hits me, it knocks me out. And that's one of the most emotional moments to realize those that are really, that really love you and will stay with you no matter what, those are the ones we have to cherish the most. I couldn't, my mom was with me and I couldn't stop thinking of that bond between mother and for you, your babies. I know, it's so interesting because I, I, I recognize it and I think a lot of us recognize it from every version. I know the 17 year old me and I relate. I know now the mother me and I relate. I know the like neighborhood and the people and who you meet and those that are like, just have all these different energies. So I relate from multiple levels. We have not talked to you since the Super Bowl, and I just have to, I'm a Alicia Keys super fan. I'm the head of the fan club. You were so stunning and beautiful. I have to talk to you about that cape. I know. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you, the cape, which looked just like it was floating in the back of me, like the longest dress on the planet, was being manipulated by master puppeteers. And I think that was one of the most unique things I've ever done in my life. It was such a breath of specialness and I loved doing the Super Bowl. It was so fun. And but that dress and those puppeteers, those master puppeteers under there just looking like it was blowing. It was stunning. So, so thank you. Um, finally, Genesis is so cute. He's a fanboy. Like between Billie Eilish, the video of Billie Eilish, to video, Billie Eilish, and I know he's a Swifty. So he's a Swifty. how's he doing? All right, now his latest one is Mom. Do you have Scissor's number? <laughs> Scissor, we looking for you. <laughs> I mean, what a cutie. Finally, this look is gorgeous. I'm a Assuming throwback to the 90s. We are, all this is, you know, we want to at least have the essence of the 90s. Hell's Kitchen is, takes place in the 90s, so that energy is alive tonight. And this is a Gautier piece. I love it so much. This girl is on fire. Bye. <laughs>